I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm doing or even why I'm here. Why is it telling me that I started alive? Oh, shit. Who cares? What you doing? I'm gonna just totally forget that I'm even live because I don't really have any followers. Oh, shit. It says, hold on, we're telling more followers. Shit, okay. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. But no one's here, so just talking to myself. <laughs> now, right now, you're either driving in your car, on your bike, skateboard, going for a jog. Is there someone here? Someone's here. Hi Tyler. How you doing, babes? I am just in the mood. So I decided to go live. I don't really know why. It's just, you know, 21st century narcissism, maybe. Dude's chit chatting. And they've done an Ariana flip. And I am a sucker for a good Ariana flip. Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good Ariana flip. Sit back. Save your tears with the fucking the weekend. My God. That still changes my life every time I listen to her. Okay, wait. It looks like shit's happening. Hey! Oh, shame, babes. Sending you love. Ginger, lemons, all that good shit. This is very nice. That's a nice chow from the dumpling house down the road in Musenberg. It's fucking vegan and it's the best shit I've ever had in my life. It's tofu, but I can't even tell you how divine this fucking tofu is. Since it's just your new title. Thanks for being witness to my first live. I don't know, do they show this shit later? So I should keep it together. <laughs> Having such a weird time in my life. Shit is just like accelerated. Can you hear me all right? Is the music too loud? This is important. Thank you for your feedback. <laughs> is that a bit better? Oh, okay, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah, I am. Um, I love kind of the idea of just, you know, sharing all your shit on social media because it's real and it's raw and the world has been begging for that more and more and more. I mean, why do you think TikTok's so popular? People are doing that shit in their pajamas, you know? Because when you fucking open that TikTok app, you immediately look like a model. Have you ever noticed that? You can't even look shit on that app, even if you try it. Try it. I was sick when I went on there and I'm like, I haven't showered for two days. Why do I look so good? This is fucked up, man. Yeah. I don't know, like how sensory are these platforms of swearing? Cause I mean, really that is the lamest form of censorship ever. Mm. Yeah, so anyway. Now we're all narcissists and doing lives and shit. I mean, maybe I speak for myself. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm probably gonna regret this so badly later. <laughs> but I think I won't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, I think when you start doing this kind of shit, you really gotta like consider how you mention the things in your life. 
because I don't want to be highlight reel. I don't even know what that is. But obviously, you don't want to like literally air all of your laundry. You know, like that's not cool either. And you've obviously got to be of service. You don't want to just be like some weirdo listening to music. What day is it? Oh my god. Trippy! Crazy, man. Yeah, so um, I don't really know where I'm going with this. <laughs> and I'm wondering if I'm sharing too much. Fuck, hey, the journey. Nobody talks about that side of like doing content creation and like putting yourself out there. Like, this is my struggle. You want to show about exactly. Yeah, it's hard. And also, like, it, it of course. You know, ultimately this experience in my reality right now is literally just me talking to myself on my fucking screen. And even worse, <laughs> my, 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 my phone is propped up against a fucking mirror. Like, what am I doing to myself? I'm like getting into a portal here of just me. It's too much. So that's why I think like you just have to be of service. So good that I keep reminding myself of that. Um, so I'm 40 and it's like you know I think I think at every age of life you feel like you know like at 30 or 35 or 25 or whatever the fuck you feel like you know enough shit you're like mm, yeah yeah, yeah. I, I see what's happening now I'm cool I get it <laughs> and, and unbeknownst to you five years later or ten years later it tunes you a whole new reality and you're like jeez like fuck I knew nothing well yeah that's kind of where I'm at which is nice because it's always nice to start fresh a little bit every now and again and challenge your perspective and question your reality and check whether you're stuck it's like one of my primal fears I don't know where the fuck that comes from I'm terrified of getting stuck terrifying are you terrified of getting stuck in any capacity it freaks me out mm. nice yeah so maybe maybe the message is just be prepared to change expect it Expect it, so be prepared for it and fucking embrace it and enjoy it when it comes along because it's refreshing as hell to be reminded that I know shit. Very much so. Damn. And I'm saying that based on like the experiences that I'm currently having are like blowing my mind. And I mean, they're literally just conversations with other human beings, but they're blowing my mind. They're like altering my entire reality. And that's very refreshing. Basically what I realized is that I was being stuck in government mandated isolation for too long it means that you don't have a reflection or that's what I found for myself in my own experience. I haven't had like the reflection to actually see how much I've grown or changed or not grown or whatever. So like recently I've just been like thrust back into the world of people in a very intense way because I'm kind of that intense and I love it it's amazing but after having lived like two years of like in isolation and my cat as my best friend literally that poor animal has saved me <laughs> what a blessing yeah it's like that's kind of how you can only see whether you've changed is in reflection to others so Hopefully this can be like a little prompt or reminder to do that scary thing and text that person and say, hey, let's show our faces to each other with our fucking masks on and see how that goes down. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, and now there's another person. Hello. How are you, darling? I forgot your name. I'm sorry. Like, you know, Instagram is hard. <laughs> yeah. So... Look now, I got so excited, I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. Shit! Oh. Anyway, this is a lot. I think I did alright. 
I did okay. <laughs> and maybe I'll be a little bit more organized the next time. Maybe I shouldn't be organized. It is pretty narcissistic. I cannot deny. Like, it's a little bit too much. So I would much rather spend my time doing this, having like a nice thing to share that is of great value. Oh shit, I thought I saw smoke in the camera. There's no smoke. So that's okay. <laughs> Everything's alright over here. Thank you so much for watching my face and listening to my shit. But most of all, the music was amazing. Maybe I should be cool and like drop a link somewhere. SoundCloud magic. And, you know, happy, happy day. And like, check you next time. And I love you so much. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, bye! How do I stop this shit? Yes. <laughs>